Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll be discussing Biodex. This is Biodex System 3 and we are about to discuss the isokinetic system. This is basically an isokinetic system by Biodex. Uh, there are a lot of companies that manufacture the isokinetic systems. And let me discuss briefly the parts of the Biodex system. So this is basically the main dynamometer. This is the shaft where you connect a lot of attachments. Uh, here we can see for a lot of attachments for the elbow, for the knee, uh, for the hip and for the shoulder as well. So these are also some attachments. I've placed them down. So this unit is connected directly to this unit, which is basically the control unit for the biodex. Now I can show you that here you will get two power options. You need to uh, turn on the unit from the behind. Then you need to turn on the CPU and the biodex. You can see the images also. This is for the biodex dynamometer and this is for the CPU. And these are the power options and power lights that you can see. And from here you need to turn the CPU on and then this whole panel will be turned on. Similarly, you need to turn on the monitor or the CRT. Once this unit is turned on, you can see some uh, display over here, some lights, and this is the control panel from the Biodex itself. You can choose this control panel or you can choose the software that is inbuilt into the computer and you can use that software for managing the Biodex options. For example, if we discuss the system status or the mode, we can set up for the isokinetic, passive, isometric, isotonic, reactive, eccentric and attachment selection for all these modes we can this is for the attachment but these are the modes that we can uh, select from and then you can also set the limit away uh, these are the range of motion parameters that you can uh, use for example you want to limit the knee extension so you can set the limits uh, away so this is towards limit so uh, it, it will be flexion and this will be extension for example in the example of knee extension uh, total range of motion degrees are displayed over here if you want to uh, measure for example 100 degrees of flexion or extension you can set this and you can uh, choose the percentage of roam as well. This control panel is to allow the pause in seconds between the uh, flexion and extension or between different movements and this is for away and this is for toward you can increase or decrease the time. Now here is uh, the parameters, uh, here are the parameters that are for speed, contraction and torque. You can also increase the speed of the movement, degree per second, away and towards means flexion or extension, away is extension and towards is flexion in our example, okay. And uh, we can also work on concentric, eccentric or concentric, eccentric depending upon the setting that we, is, we have uh, set or established. We can set the torque the maximum torque uh, in extension or in flexion. This uh, button is uh, just a hold or resume button. You can, it's just a push switch. So you can press it and you will get the desired uh, function. You can either hold the uh, test or you can resume it. This is the normal mouse and keyboard and it has built in Windows 98 system. Let's talk about the platform itself. Now if you look at the platform, this is basically the main dynamometer. This is responsible for uh, measuring the torque, the angles, the force and everything that it gives. Now this platform can move in either direction over there as well as it can come over here. You can change the direction. For example, this is facing towards me. You can also change it otherwise and you can change it to the right side and the left side. There are a few buttons that are worth noting that you can increase or decrease the range of motion or rotate in clockwise and counterclockwise. You can hold and resume. When you press this, this, this rotor is free to move easily. This is the emergency or the comfort stop. If anything goes wrong while performing the isokinetic testing, you can just press this and it will go away. Here you can see this is set to, this is, this angle is showing that Right now, the Biodex system is at zero degrees, the level of the system. You can also try to rotate it. Uh, and maybe uh, there are in this direction, okay? Uh, it's a bit stuck. 
so c it can be rotated in both directions like this and this and you can also see the readings so i'm just setting it to zero degree it should be in alignment with this and when it is set to zero degree you can just fix this similarly you can use this one and you you can see over here these this is the angle that tells us the direction of this so we can rotate it in either direction so this is not very difficult to perform and you can always work with this and again there, there's another stop or emergency stop button as well you can increase or decrease the height of this as well there's also a lever down there i can show you this shows the height so you can increase or decrease the height of this dynamometer as well after that uh, this is the chair on which the patient or the subject sits and you can increase or decrease the height of this chair with these panels you can see i can show you so increase and decrease this is going to increase the height this is going to decrease the height and it tells you some specifications as well from the ground this is to pull this chair completely backward you see the red arrow it's coming this direction and it goes the other direction so you can increase the distance between the back support and the seat as well whereas you can increase or decrease the angle of inclination and a lot more things so this is totally customizable a lot of belts uh, for for the knee for the thighs for the back for the shoulder and you can also there are these foot levers so if you press them down you can bring it forward or you can bring it backward this is for the, uh, the release this is the release button and it tells you the measurements similarly is for this dynamometer itself and you can also see some attachments these are the pulley systems that can be attached here you can see some other attachments with some angulations and these are the fasteners that you can fasten to hold the attachments in place so the main rotor an attachment gets connected to it and then you fasten the uh, this uh, attachment or bolster and then it works i hope it's uh, a brief overview so i'll try to make more videos and some functional tests as well thank you very much